that's when the lavender attacks. It attacks your senses. It's coming after your nostrils. Yeah. Oh. Hey guys, just here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are already a part of the family, I'd like to thank you very much. However, for those of you that are not yet a part of the family, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell as well. Today, we are doing another OGX body wash review. I know I'm on a roll. <laughs> in the scent calming and reviving lavender essential oil and as always i'm going to give you guys my very detailed and honest review so without further ado i will not hold you any longer first things first the scent before the wash and you know, I always do that. <laughs> the scent is calm. It doesn't catch your attention at first. It's almost the very epitome of what this body wash is designed to do and the name of it as well. Lavender is known as a very calming fragrance, but it's an it's a acquired taste or in this case, it's an acquired scent. Because sometimes lavender can tend to be a overpowering scent or smell too mature for some people. And which is why it's often combined with the chamomile. And this does have chamomile in it. Sometimes that does not help. The scent ha does have a slightly sweet smelling undertone to it and this is all before water hits this while i'm not the biggest fan of a lavender scent unless it has a much stronger sweeter note to it um, for the most part it is considered a very calming and relaxing scent just the scent of it is very good for your senses as well. What is the texture like of this body wash in your hands? Demonstration. As always. Do you see that pearlescent goodness there? That in itself. It started off pearlescent and this is a nice rich and smooth type of texture in your hands you're going to enjoy applying this over your hands and skin and head to toe and as you can see when your normal body heat and body temperature combines with you working this into your skin it transforms from a pearlescent smooth creamy texture to a skin softening type of texture next what is the consistency of the product i pretty much answered that in the one before this is a rich creamy and smooth type of texture that pearlescent look to it gives it sort of a luxurious feel and the consistency is very nice creamy and smooth as if there was a lot of time put into making sure that pearlescent vision in was well combined no lumps no clumps because you know who likes a clumpy, lumpy body wash? You know, you know, you know. No 
one likes a clumpy body wash because that reveals one or two things. Either it's been sitting on the shelf a long time or the ingredients have begun to separate from each other like peanut butter and oil often does if it sits. But that's besides the point. Next up, what happens to the scent of this when water hits it? When water hits this product, the smell expands. It's almost as if like it's the Sabuki Blossom. Uh, that link to watch that will either be in the top right for you guys to see or either you could click on my name below this video. So when water hits this product, the smell, it expands the smell of the product. That smell expands and it releases out more of a lavender scent. I guess you could say when water hits the product, that's when the lavender attacks. It attacks your senses. It's coming for you. Whether you want to try to smell it or not, you combine it with water, it's coming after your nostrils. Yeah. What is the lather of this product like? I don't know why I'm doing so much with my hands like that. <laughs> this lathers really, really well, but you're going to get quite a workout in order to work up a really, really really thick and luscious La um, lather, my words. <laughs> what I found is in order to work up a lather, because at first I started to put water with this product and work up a lather and I saw just little patty cake bubbles, you know, just And I said, okay, so this doesn't lather well. All right, I don't like this, you know? But then I went back in with another guap of the um, squirt of the product. And I started working it through my hands first and then apply a little bit of water to it as I went along to build up the lather. That's how you have to work up the lather. Don't get discouraged and you, you've you squirted in your hair one time and it lathers a little bit in it and you're, you're upset then. It's like, no, no, hold, hold the line and don't, don't get mad. Don't, don't do that. Put the product in your hands, work it through your hands, a little bit at a time. And then as you add a little bit of water at a time, that lather will build and expand. And that's what happened with me. I was like, this is too much lather. I think I used too much. I say all that to say this. Sometimes it's not that the lather is not good. It's not that they don't lather well. Sometimes you're not doing enough work and sometimes you have to use a different technique than what you're used to. What is the rinse like for this product? Just like you have to work, do some work to work up a lather, you have to do some work. So work to rinse it all the way out. So the lather requires the same amount of work as well as the rinse. Same amount of work for both. Next, does this product, does the scent linger after the wash, after the shower? Well, I do apologize in advance because this scent does not linger much at all. After I was done with the wash and the rinse and everything, I barely smelled it on me. So that let me know this product is a 
experience in the shower, experience in the bathtub type of body wash. If the scent does not linger long after you are done using the product, I take that to mean that this product was solely created for you to have an experience only when you're using it. After you're done using it, the experience of it is over. Here are my final thoughts. This product is purely for the experience. I really like the smell before the water hits it because it has that sweet note in it, which I think the chamomile accounts for. That's my guess. The second thing I like about this product is the lather. Although you have to do some work and some extra work and use a different technique than what you're used to, to work up that lather, it lathers well. That's another thing I like. But I don't like the fact that the singer, the... I don't like the fact that the scent does not linger. I just combined scent and linger together and said singer. <laughs> I don't like the fact that the scent doesn't linger after the shower, after the wash. Best I can give this is a solid eight because this product is solely for the experience. This is perfect for that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my review of OGX's Calming and Reviving Lavender Essential Oil Body Wash. And until next time and until the next video,